Hello you guys, how are you? I hope you're keeping well and staying healthy during these crazy times mm -hmm. and taking vitamin D3. I'm always going to nag about that one. So welcome to my channel Joni Loves. My name is Joni. Please hit that subscribe button and that bell. That would be so cool. I'm nearly at a thousand subscribers and every little bit helps. So I'm really, really happy about that. Very excited and very appreciative. So today it's very exciting because I'm going to do Esthetician Reacts to Hayley Steinfield. This is this gorgeous 24-year-old um, actress, model and singer. Uh -huh. she, does, she has it all. This girl has it all. Now, I watched her a couple of nights ago in a great movie that I would tell you to have a look at, The Edge of Seventeen. Mm -hmm. She starred in that with another great actor. I love him, Woody Harrelson. Oh, I do, I do love Woody. I do, I do. So also she's in being in Pitch Perfect. I do love Pitch Perfect. Uh -huh. I love these kind of movies, especially this time of year. Uh -huh. it is, it's this time of year it does, it, isn't it? So this is Haley's Guide to Glowing Skin that she did um, with the Beauty Secret series that Vogue is doing. So let's have a look and see what she's doing. Hey everyone, it's Haley. I am going to be taking you through my skincare routine and my everyday makeup look. First things first, gotta cleanse the face. Mmm, so <laughs> that was a quick cleanse. Now, I couldn't see the ingredients in that cleanser. I do not know what that cleanser is and I can't comment. What I will do is tell you about her skin. So Haley has got combination skin, I believe. She has got sallow skin type and going to be prone to a bit of pigmentation. She could be prone to some blackheads, open pores and a bit of flare out, break, acne breakout, time of the month, that type of thing. So that's what she's that's what she's got going. Also, what I have noticed straight away, straight off, is that this girl wears sunscreen because the different colours when you wear sunscreen every day, your skin and your face and neck are always paler than the rest of your body. Mm -hmm. And I like to see that. That is a good a good thing uh -huh, because she's protecting this the whole time. So this girl is going to look amazing when she's older. Well done. Well done, Hayley. Well done, Hayley. Has gotten me more compliments about my skin over FaceTime than anything I've ever used ever. This Cora Organics face mask. So I will do a, a generous amount. Pea size for me is like a whole handful. Sometimes I'll just use it for 10, 15 minutes before I apply my makeup. Next step, I take. Hmm. So I think we're all a bit like that, aren't we? With a mask, we're always meant to use, well, I don't think a pea size of mask, but maybe a bit more. <laughs> but we're all like that, aren't we? We just, a pea size is never enough of your lotion to put on your skin, it isn't. Now, this is this um, Cora Organics non Glow Sleep Mask. It's £43 for 100ml. I think that's okay. It's cruelty-free and organic. Miranda Kerr, the supermodel, has done a great job in this. I do like it. I do. And it's got aloe vera in it moisturizing glycerin humectant emollient plant oils great skin conditioning fab and it's got this noni fruit extract this is the whole range of cora organics is built around this noni juice or noni fruit extract <laughs> yep which is an antioxidant meant to be a good antioxidant but there isn't a lot of clinical data i couldn't find any just saying but it's also got this one the kakadu plum a good name that <laughs> don't you think and that has got clinical data on it and it's a strong polyphenol antioxidant. Remember, polyphenols are great. The plants produce these to protect them from invasion, from environmental stressors. It really keeps the plant healthy and young. Uh -huh. And that's in this mask. So I do like this mask. I do. Uh -huh. It's also got snow mushroom in it. Great name. Um, plant extract that hydrates skin. This is good for her skin now. Looking at her skin, I don't think Haley needs any oil on top of her skin. She doesn't need that heavy moisturizing thing. Um, hydration to keep the water in her skin, that is cool. And I did like that she had a, a drink of water while she's got this on. It's also got the Mitral Citrus Australasica 
um, fruit extract which is a gentle exfoliant an AHA so this is a good a good mask it's also got sodium hyaluronic which is hyaluronic acid and salicylic it really is interesting this mask it's got quite a number of really good ingredients in it I think this would be a good one to try the non-glow um, sleeping mask mm -hmm, I do so good I like it and she's putting it on before she puts her makeup on so interesting that she's doing it that way she may be getting her photographs taken today something but putting a mask on in the morning have we got the time to do that not sure but she says it's I mean she was like a brand ambassador for it there said it's got the God, given her the most compliments about her skin this toner Cotton pad. Voila. Oh no! <laughs> when I thought it was all going so well, <laughs> she brings that witch hazel out. Witch hazel is a no way Jose type of thing. No, I know that witch hazel has, for some reason, gained some popularity recently. Oh, I don't know why. I don't know why, but. I know that she'll be thinking that it's tightening your pores up, it's making her skin non-shiny because I did say that I think she's definitely got combination skin so she'll have an oily T-zone and she was going around her nose with the cotton pad with the witch hazel on it. Jeez, oh, oh. Anyway, witch hazel, I know that it's been used for centuries by the Native Americans as an anti-inflammatory medicine, oh, right? And I get it, it's supposed to be good for treating sunburn but this will dry your skin out. This is the thing you need to know. Witch hazel is an astringent and it contains alcohol. Uh -huh. And alcohol, a bad one, ethanol, that actually dries your skin out. This is what it's like. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm always nagging you about your protective bile that you produce naturally, which is really important, your acid mantle, this protective bile you've got and keeping that intact. And using witch hazel will really irritate that and will dry your skin out. Right? So that's why it's bad. That's why I don't like it. No, no, no. Don't like it, Haley. And I would be telling her that. So if anyone's got her phone number, just say, you should listen to that, Joni. She'll tell you. You can't be using witch hazel. No, you can't be without using it. It's an old-fashioned thing that's gained popularity again. Bin it. No, no, no. It's not good not good please don't use that on your face <sighs> calm down moisturizer this is the mare soft cream um to wear under my makeup well to wear all the time but i find that my foundation sits really well over it so not too much i feel like it goes a long way i've been working for hmm, my whole Oh dear, <laughs> another one, La Mer, Coin de La Mer, oh my god, 60 mil for 240 smackaroonies, 240 quid, listen, the top four ingredients, <laughs> seaweed extract, wow, <laughs> mineral oil, <laughs> Vaseline, you know, petrolatum, which is Vaseline and glycerine. <laughs> this is a abs. I've got to tell you about this. I know I have before, but this is vastly overpriced. Vastly overpriced. Now, <laughs> I was thinking what else new I could tell you about Creme de la Mer because I have moaned about it on this channel before. I'm going to say that um, in 2010, the Daily Mail. A UK newspaper asked a cosmetic chemist to see if they could make up one with the same ingredients to look up the, sa the ingredients that's in this and if they made it up how much would it cost and he said this cosmetic chemist that if he used um, mineral oil, petrolatum, glycerin and eucalyptus leaf oil it would have the same effect as this and that would be 13 quid. Uh -huh. And then in 2013 the Daily Mail asked um, one of its writers to use i'm going to say this nivea on her face one side of her face nivea and the other side creme de la mer for 30 days they so they did photo aging cameras they looked at the skin before did all these you know 
picks, took these picks of her skin, these UV picks that you get. And then they absolutely, you saw after the 30 days. And what side was the best? Watch side did they look through these strong camera lenses and find out was the best? <laughs> You've got it. It was a Nivea side. Uh -huh. So what my take is, right, is this for a skin like hers, uh, this is this is what it's all about. I know that some people with very dry skin would maybe like creme de la mer. I get it, right? But for combination, normal to combination, to combination to oily skin, no, it's going to be blocking their pores, clogging their pores up, I promise you. And the more she uses this, and she, she's, you know, I'm sure she's had breakouts. She must have had breakouts with this already because it's not right for her skin. These products in her skin type are going to align the surface and act as a barrier. They're not, they're not going to allow her skin to breathe at all properly. No, they're not. They're not going to do what she wants. She just needs hydration. She doesn't need this tacky oil thing going on in her skin. A absolutely not. Absolutely not. <sighs> What feels like my whole life um and so i've traveled i've had different people in different parts of the world do my makeup in different ways using different techniques and um i think it's so it's become more and more important for me but i've always been really obsessed with taking care of my skin and making sure that it is the best that it can be my skin it's been a journey and let me tell you something right now i'll get a little bit closer so you can see we are looking so good right now i'm so happy about it it's probably only gonna last about a week longer I'm not gonna say that, I would take that back. Next, I use my sunscreen. I don't leave the house without this. I have one in my bag at all times. It's so important. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. I'd say the number one beauty tip that I've gotten from my mom is sunscreen. Wear sunscreen. She's always told me since day one or stay out of the sun, which I tend to do. I really have found that working out and staying physically active has really helped, well, with a lot of things, mental health and my skin ultimately, either turning my phone off or leaving it behind when I'm in the gym and sort of allowing myself that time, um, again, to disconnect and just focus on me and the moment that I'm in, so. Oh, that was a good little finish for me there. Mm -hmm. It was, it was, it made it up a bit. <laughs> so I do, I think that's great and it shows that she's using a sunscreen she's using Elta md and um, this sunscreen i've mentioned it before on my channel but you know it's got nine percent zinc oxide my favorite sunscreen ingredient and you could see that when she was putting it on and what i think is always funny is that people are always worried about putting um a sunscreen on that contains zinc because it gives a white cast and perhaps some of them do this one doesn't and she put it on and it did go white and then it disappeared into her skin and that's good because she's got this sallow colour to her and um, I do like that it is the best because remember zinc oxide is a physical sunscreen that when the UV hits it it will deflect the rays okay it's also good if you've got smart devices for this HEV light high energy visible light it will prevent that from getting into the skin but it's got this 7.5% octinoxate, which is a bit dubious now, this ingredient. And it's something that Elta MD needs to look at to reformulate in the future. Just saying. Mm -hmm. But it is a good sunscreen. I'm happy with it. It's got um, hyaluronic acid and it's got vitamin E in it. So I think it's pretty good. And it obviously shows that she she uses it. Okay. And that's, that's cool. And what I would say is, what are you doing, Hayley? You've got really a great mask there the cleanser i don't know what the cleanser was like but the mask was really good and the sunscreen was good and the two middle products thumbs down mm -hmm. so she's got it half right so if anyone can email her and let her know that <laughs> and then she could email me and i could tell her what else to use but you know she's she's doing a good thing wearing the sunscreen 100 percent, and what a mother she's got and i really like the fact that she mentioned that she exercises and leaves her phone away, her mobile away, tucked away when she's in the gym and she really knows that that is helping her mental health. I would absolutely push everyone to exercise daily. Yeah, you've really got to do that for your mental health, 
that is the way to go, especially living through 2020 as we've done. This has been a year and a half, hasn't it? <laughs> so getting exercise, getting into that habit is, is key for your mental health and also keeps the blood circulation going, feeding the tissues. It does immense things for you when you exercise. So if you're not in that habit, you've got to get there. So that's the end of this one for you. I hope that was fun for you. It certainly is always fun for me. If you've used any of these products or something similar that you think Haley should use, please put it in the comments below. I always love to get your comments and I want you to have a great week and look after yourselves. So take care. Bye for now.